Okay, today's a drawing day. Just like every other day. This time it's a color drawing day for platforms. So now we have yellow, which I guess. So we've got Victor platform, which I guess is black, and we've got yellow, which is. like a regular platform. Ah! Well. <laughs> I think that'd be a one-time thing, but... Blob? I've got forms. Well, which is blob. I feel like this mirrored an introduction somewhere else. Into the form of a blob. Oh, uh, well. If you're gonna call it blob, I know what I have to draw it as. Give me a second. Alright, I love it when I immediately know I'm gonna draw for something. Okay. This is gonna take a little bit of creative interpretation. Granted, but that's, that's perfectly okay. So, let's not even use black as our outline color here, actually. Let's do something more like this. And I'll mostly follow the outline here, but not completely. Kind of like that. I think that's good. Let me just follow the outline they give us. That'll be a start for the shape. This is one of those things where I have no idea how old it's going to turn out when I try to draw it, but hopefully it'll be okay. I feel like this should be a little... It's decently smooth, we'll see. some certain elements here, but um, it is what it is. Just trying to think of how to plan this whole thing out here. I do like the idea of trying to smooth this part out just slightly. Jeez. start here. There's, there's mo it's mostly the fact that there's one particular thing that's kind of missing here still. That uh, I have to artistically reinterpret a little bit. I'm not sure I like how that looks. here at this angle.
Yeah, maybe. Okay, and... Give him this beige color. Let's lock. Oh, not you. I might be better to have other stuff in golden before I do this, because this is a very light color. But we'll see. Probably fill us in, so I guess some of this messiness isn't really something I need to worry about. Like that. It's an idea. This is a little odd looking. I, I think it's going to look even more odd once we actually see this in action because it's probably going to get all sorts of work to want on it if I had to guess. Could be wrong. I have a feeling it will be. was kind of a funny decision, but it, it just occurred to me as a random thing, so I figured I might as well do it. This is a good color, and yeah, maybe. Fix up the slope here a little bit. It's difficult getting nice, smooth, really thin lines like this. So we're missing a detail or two, but the idea here is <laughs> more or less also, I think this L1 is too dark. Could I try something more like, that might work better. Oh. The idea here is the blob from the game, the blob, which was, I feel like it's one of those games that was marketed a lot or something. So I get the impression that it wasn't that big of a deal, like it, it's not like a ton of people loved it or anything, but I heard a lot about it back when it was first released. I played it through most of the first game, I thought it was kind of fine. I agreed with the complaint many had that the levels were too long.
really getting a lot of light on shade with the color picker today for some reason. Not sure why. I guess it's just all these subtle shades of blue. And other colors that I'm having a hard time keeping straight. Anyways, the guy normally, one, has ears that stick off the top of the head, but I don't have room for that on here. And two, does have arms, which you just can't see right here, but I don't know. Um, what else though? I think at this point it's just shaded a little bit and I'll be done. Um, sort, it's normally kind of shiny looking. I don't know if I'm going to pull that off here or not, we'll see. Um, you lucky now. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. Get a darker color for this here. Well, how about we make this that darker color? Even darker, maybe? So these browns are kind of weird on this palette. The weird thing in particular is they don't really seem to follow a pattern, what order they're placed in. too flat. Yeah, maybe like that. I can never remember which shade of brown is which. So that's something I have a lot of use for the eyedropper in. Okay. And I would like to a little bit of shading, I think, on the lip here, just to modify the renders I've seen of the character. I feel like I didn't say that sentence correctly, to, to imitate renders I've seen of the character. Let's see how well that actually works, though. Yeah, I think it looks okay. So, shading up here. I guess I should have a little shading underneath the ear, too. I'm keeping the ear fairly uh, tucked back on the, on the head here. Okay, um... The thing you want to have highlights on too is the tricky part. Um, and the way they do the highlights in this game, it's kind of just you have a little bit of highlight around the edge of something, or on the edge of the entire thing. See how well this works out. This is a little strong, I feel like, but we'll see. Don't know if I'll be able to put any highlight really on the skin here because it's the, the lightest, like beige tone I have. I 
I don't really feel like using white. And then I can go back to using the normal color actually for parts of the this part here. Let's see if that has a good effect or not. I'm not certain. I'll give it a shot. could want this effect to be a little bit more subtle looking. I just don't have similar enough colors available. Um, and then of course you want the actual like highlights on on the head and whatnot. Uh, normally the, the head would have a lot of free space on it and be very shiny, but um, it's not really how it worked out for me here because I did the weird stuff with trying to fit the ears on here. Um, oh. Right, let's see if we can get a little bit of something on here. Just give a little bit of hint of, of shininess. It's not a lot to work with, but it's something, I guess. I might actually leave it at that. And the eyes are just solid white on the character. Yeah, slightly odd how it turned out, but I think it's passable. I should take a look at that game again someday, see what I think of it again. I love looking at games I just like vaguely remember, and um, seeing how they are when I take another look at them years later. That game's kind of a candidate for that, I guess, even though I think I think of the, uh, the generation of the Wii and so on as being like new games by my standards, <laughs> but they're not that anymore, so. They are now officially at the at the age of oh hey I remember that thing way back in the day. We'll see. As I'm reaching for more and more things to play these days, it's still an option. I mean, think of taking like some other franchises too, but we'll see. Whatever I get to, to play after I probably sometime soon finish Captain Rainbow, because this one will probably run on a little bit longer. I have no idea. Of course, there's the possibility of playing a third John Life to game too. I think maybe. I don't know. We'll see what I think a bit. Maybe after looking into an adventure this game and so on. Anyhow. Bye everyone, we'll up will come next time.